Hello everybody, this is Pontifical Screamer, and I want to show you a new plugin that I have been playing around with. Well, it's been around on OBS for a little while now, but I don't know if a ton of people know about it. But it is definitely something that you can do to bring your stream to the next level with some advanced overlay action. So let's show you what I'm using and how we can go from doing something static to changing and moving something like your webcam around to different areas or maybe even making it disappear so if you're interested in learning how to do this then stay tuned all right so how are we doing this with my cam scene now first of all my camera is a group so this I have an overlay, my camera itself, and depending on where I have it, I might have my uh, TFS logo in there too, depending on what I'm doing. But it's nice because I can go and I can have not only a single source, but I can group a uh, selection of sources together and be able to animate this using a plugin called Move Transition. Okay, so let's go ahead and move the camera over. And what we can do is you can Google it um, and you could do like move transition OBS and you should be able to find it in the forums here and I'll provide this link in the uh, description so that you can uh, get there easily all right and then just simply download it now what you could do is you got the 32-bit version you have the 64-bit version and you have the Mac OS version they're all zip files that you download and when you download this, you will then open it up and you're going to want to extract these two folders. Now this is the data folder, OBS plugins, and then the move transition. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to move this over to your program files and go to OBS studio where I can find it, there we go. And then you have OBS plugins and data. Now this is the data OBS plugins and what you're going to do is you're going to move the move transition over to there. And likewise, you're going to take the OBS plugins 64 bit and copy these two files to here. Okay. And then once you do that, then what, what you need to do is if you have OBS running already is you need to restart OBS. And you'll know that you have this installed properly is when you can uh, go to your scenes here and go to filters and you should have move source and move transition override both right there. So if you have those in there, then you installed it correctly. If you do not have those, then you do not install it correctly. Also, there is a stinger and move here this move is also part of this plugin okay that you can actually use kind of in lieu of a stinger if you wanted to use that so let's talk about what i've done on my streaming pc all right so how did i set my webcam group to move to different positions within my scene all right so let me transition over here and then I'll show you how. And simply in your game scene, you can do scene filters, right? And under scene filters, I have done this positioning of, or different filters that I have named for the different positions that I want in my camera. All right, so let me delete this. And here you have the full cam, which is what you're seeing in the window here. You have upper right, and if I hit start, it'll move that camera, which you can see, which is that, you know, pretty neat. What you can do is you can hit the plus sign, find the move source. All right, let's call this center. And then what I can do is I can then grab my camera source. You need to select the group here though, this camera group two, and then you can move this. I can move this to the center. I could also resize it to whatever you want. And then all you need to do is hit get transform once you have positioned it and resized it, then all the position you want to do. And it should update with that. Now I should be able to move this somewhere like this and hit start and it should move it over. 
just like that. It's that simple. And I've done this for each of these different positions that I want, including this disappear one, which you see the crop is at zeros and bounds is at zeros. So that way it will disappear when you hit it and it works great. So you could definitely use this in a variety of ways, Much of these as effects filters. Now, how do I have these to work where I don't have to actually physically go, hey, thanks for the sub there, Daniel got it. How do I go in and do this without actually having to go in and hit the start button every time? Well, what it does is it sets a hotkey for that scene. So if I go to my game scene, you will see that I have all these different scenes here that I have set hotkeys for. Control Alt, one through eight. And then here, if I wanted to set another one for the center, you know, I can do uh, Control Alt nine, all right? And apply that. And then anytime I hit these keys, of course you can see the camera come in and out and do whatever you want to do. Now, what's cool about this is then you can go into something like uh, I use Touch Portal, which is a, an app, a remote app that you can control your stream with. And I have a button set for each of the positions that I can then move my camera to wherever I want. And it's that simple. Um, I really like this a lot. So if you have a stream deck, you can do it with your stream deck. Um, I prefer this because I can put tons of buttons on here. This is my full page for my uh, normal stream uh, layout for the TFS channel. All my buttons are right here that I can do for streaming and recording. And, uh, and I've set this all for my camera, which is really nice and I like it a lot. It actually helps for production for doing videos like this. For instance, if I wanted to get my camera out of the way and show you a screen of something I was trying to teach, then I could just simply do that and talk about whatever, you know, is on this scene here. Um, so I really think this is a great thing that you can do. Now, I don't know a ton about this. I'm just learning it myself, but this is some of the things that I've been able to do in the short time of learning this. I've got some ideas for different things that I'd like to try. And if you come up with some ideas for things that you could do with this, I'd really like to see it. I'm interested in uh, seeing the, just all the ways that you can customize your stream using this plugin. It's really neat. So go out there, download it again. I'll provide a link in the description below. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you were able to use this, if you like this, make sure you hit the like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. If you do that, you'll know when I have videos that go live, uh, you can become part of the TFS community. I use the community tab, I put out news there. And also listen, all my socials are linked down in the description. Make sure you check those out, especially my Discord. Discord is growing like crazy. There's always new members there. It's a great way for you to reach out if you need support, whether I can help you out there or one of our knowledgeable community members, they would be able to help you out. It's a great way for you to share your uh, Twitch for your different videos if you're a content creator. And it's just a great way to talk about streaming. So make sure you join the Discord too. And hit me up on my socials. I would love to uh, talk to you and interact with you. So anyway, guys, have a great rest of your week. Be safe out there. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.